The O Cannabis Conference and Expo returns to Toronto June 1st through the 3rd, and there's still some good booth locations available. This exciting event is free for cannabis retailers and will feature Tommy Chong receiving a Lifetime Achievement Award at the O Cannabis Industry Awards. For more information about exhibiting or to register to attend, go to ocannabis.com. That's O C A N N A B I Z.com. Today, we're going to take some inspiration from Guga Foods on YouTube. Links in the show notes that's for infused butter or also known as butter of the gods, great for steaks or chicken, turkey, potatoes, whatever you put butter on, this is butter of the gods. So we're going to do a little bit of an infusion at the end, but not the entire thing because I don't want to change the flavor profile of it, uh, but we'll be able to infuse butter of the gods eventually. Welcome back to The Talking Hedge. I'm Josh Kincaid, Capital Markets Analyst and host of your Cannabis Business Podcast. A couple of things we're going to need is bone marrow and eggs. Go to a butcher shop, buy some bone marrow, have them cut the bones in half lengthwise. And that's going to be a really nice additive to our butter, a lot of flavor, uh, but it has some blood in it. So in order to get the blood out of the bone marrow, you need to soak that in some uh, water with salt. Just add a bunch of salt to it, mix it up really good until it dissolves, and then store that in your fridge for three days, fully submerged, and it's going to come out blood free, ready to go. All right, the other ingredient is eggs, and we're going to cure it, which is a little bit odd. I never cured eggs, but in order to do that, you're going to add one part sugar and two parts salt into a mix. Uh, stir that up really nice and then you're going to fully emerge the eggs you want to create a base initially and then you're going to crack your eggs uh, leaving the egg whites take the yolks and place them on that base and then fully emerge uh, submerge that is the the egg yolks make sure that it's completely covered whether you do that on a plate or tupperware whatever you want to put that in the fridge for at least five days five to seven five was good enough for me and when you pull it out you want to make sure to use a spoon and not a fork you don't want to stab these because it can you can still damage it so you want to lift uh, the, the egg yolks out of this salt sugar mix very carefully it's not that easy this guy makes it look easy and then just soak it and or uh, rinse it in some water to get the salt and sugar off of it it's nice and and clear and then put that on some parchment paper throw it in the oven for about two hours on low I don't know what low is for me. I think it was about 160 and it worked out to be fine. Uh, so after about two hours, they come out and they are nice and cured, kind of hard. And you can actually grade them like cheese. And that's going to be part of our main ingredient for butter of the gods. All right. So a couple days have passed. Bone marrow is ready, blood free. We can pull that out, rinse it off. Normally we would season it. But since this is going to be an ingredient, we're not going to. So we're going to set the oven on broil to the highest temperature for broil for about 10 minutes till it's nice and golden brown, might be bubbly a little bit, um, but should be ready to go. It should be nice and hot though, so make sure you have a, an oven glove or mitt or something as you're holding it. Grab a spoon, grab a bowl, and just start scooping that bone marrow out. Dump it all into the bowl, and we're going to use that same bowl to add the rest of our ingredients, which is, you know, the eggs and butter and some chives, some anchovy paste, uh, which you're going to need, even though it doesn't sound very good. You don't really taste it, so you don't have to worry about it, but this is delicious. All right, at this stage, we're ready to start making our butter of the gods. So we're going to use regular butter. You could start off with the infused butter. You could also start with some uh, RSO, but that might taste pretty funky. So we're going to try a variety of things. There's a 20 to 1 uh, tincture from Green Revolution. There's also a 1 to 10. It's an avocado-based tincture that uh, is also from Green Revolution. It's an indica. And then there's a 1 to 1 of also avocado-based tincture. But we're going to start with butter because we want to try a variety of things rather than just the uh, infused butter to begin with. So we're going to try a few different options and see what we come up with. So you want to add your butter, some bone marrow, parsley, shallots, garlic paste, anchovy paste, pinch of salt, and of course the cure eggs. More the better. I think I added two or three. Make sure you grade that like cheese until it's all in there. Throw it into a food processor, blend it up until it's nice and done. Grab some clinch plastic or a saran wrap, whatever, and then uh, just dump that in there, fold it up. 
twist it up so that it's uh, you know easy to get to. Store that in the fridge for a couple hours until it's a nice solid block, and then you're ready to go. All right, so we got our steak and frites ready. We got some sauce in here. We're gonna infuse it a little bit. Toss some of this Green Revolution one-to-one -one avocado based tincture. It's a one part CBD, one part THC in here. From our friends at Green Revolution. Put 50 mil in our sauce, 25 mil on our bird or on our, on our steak. Our steak <clears throat> has butter of the gods on it. Also got our cured egg, cooked at medium. I feel well. Yeah, it's really good. Really flavorful. That egg kind of adds some saltiness to it. Feels creamy. Very, very soft probably because i salted it a little bit before but it's good it's a lot of work but there's a lot of flavor i would definitely try it i don't know if i'll do it a lot especially the egg part but it is very unique it's good it's complex rich flavorful I recommend you try it, it's good stuff. All right, hopefully you guys liked the tutorial on infused butter of the gods recipe. We also did one on homemade salami, which is not easy. You gotta get a uh, you know, tenderloin and jam that into a casing, not very easy. So might not end up doing the video because I don't think I wanna do that again unless I can find a really good casing. So that's the whole trick. You have to come back to the talking hedge and find out. With that, we're going to roll this one up. I'm Josh Kincaid. This is The Talking Hedge. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, or don't, and I'm out. Don't forget to smash that like button on your way out and check out these other videos that we've got. of the Miracle Plant Podcast, where we discuss this miracle plant that goes by so many names and how it's helping people in so many extraordinary ways. So if you love this plant and you want to hear a story that tugs on those heartstrings and learn more about this plant, then head on over to the Miracle Plant Podcast. You'll be glad you did.